Hi, my name's Cy Horton and I'm a sales engineer for Farrow UK. In part two of this Scene 7 New Features Guide, what I'd like to touch on are the enhancements to WebShare Cloud. Looking at the features at a glance, we've streamlined the connectivity between Scene and WebShare Cloud. This allows us to now send individual scans, clusters, selections or project point clouds directly to WebShare Cloud using the new CPE or Cloud Point Exchange format. If we look at some of those in more detail, we now have a single login setting that we can specify within the settings of Scene. So if you go into the settings and go to the WebShare tab, we can put in the domain, the username and password. This saves us having to enter the password every time we want to connect to WebShare Cloud. It also enables a more dynamic interaction between the two systems because as we publish a new piece of information, we can actually choose which project on the domain to put it into. Also, if you're working on a project where you've got an existing project on WebShare Cloud, it will come up in the recommended project section at the top. Otherwise, you just pick another project of your choice and send that information directly to the cloud. So with using the new CPE format, we can either still save that out or we don't need to export it. We can just directly send that to WebShare Cloud. So we also now have a new workbench functionality. So as we've selected the information that we want to publish or send to the cloud using the new CPE format, we can either send it directly through the interface or we can save that information locally and we can drag and drop it into the workbench on WebShare Cloud. When that information has been dragged and dropped, we then get the system showing a working symbol. It's at that point then we would tend to create the 3D data so we can look at the information in more detail before then publishing it and adding it to a group and then sharing it with our clients or the individual users that you want to view that information. If you're using a large scan project, it's best to use the data from a project point cloud because you've already applied the color balancing setting to make sure the data in the cloud is a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. And it's particularly useful when we're using freestyle data because previously we'd have had to set up a series of virtual scans around the subject that we've scanned in order to pass that data along to the cloud. So what I'd like to do now is drop into the interface and have a look at some data captured with a Faro Focus S350 and also some data captured from a Faro Freestyle Objects and show a quick workflow of how we'd pass that information up to the cloud. So now we're in the interface. If you remember back to part one of the CNU7 tutorials, I showed you how we could use and create the new overview map. So if we go from the Explore tab to the Export tab, go to WebShare Cloud, go to the Export WebShare Cloud project. At the top now, as well as the Standard View and Clear View, we also have the Scene Overview Map. So if you've created your Overview Map already in Scene, you can utilize that information to push it into the cloud. So you get the same look and feel in the cloud as you would have in Faro Scene. So when you've done that, you then decide on your project settings and your upload settings and then you choose to export that project and upload or export and save it at a later date. With regard to the export you'll notice here that the data has already been entered into the upload dialog box. So the new feature here in the settings dialog box if we go to the web share tab you can see here I can enter the domain, the username and the password and I can log in and save those credentials. So every time I want to push stuff to the cloud I no longer have to enter that information. It's already Already predefined in there for me. So if we just go back into here, the next thing you'll notice if we click on the down arrow next to the cloud project, we can upload the WebShare cloud project, which I'd normally do if I've predefined it and set it up, but we can now upload the project point cloud. So as mentioned, once we've used all those great new filters within the project point cloud, we can then utilize that information to upload it to WebShare cloud. Alternatively, if we right click on a cluster under the point cloud tab, we can now send that data directly to WebShare Cloud on a cluster. We can right click on a scan and send that data directly to WebShare Cloud. Alternatively, if we've got a clipping box on the screen, if I activate that clipping box, I can right click on the clipping box, go to active clipping boxes and also send that data to WebShare Cloud. If I do that in this instance, then what it will do is it will look at the name of the project I'm working in and if that project matches the name of the project in WebShare Cloud, it will actually suggest that as the recommended project. But if I click the down arrow here, you can see I've got a number of other projects in my WebShare Cloud environment where I can choose which one to publish it to. 
So if I just leave it in that one for now, and then I go to my point cloud settings. In here, it's going to create a 3D selection and it's going to use the new CP format. I can change the name in here if I want to. I can also, helping the system specify the numerical resolution, choose whether it's laser scan, freestyle data, freestyle objects, or some custom sizes. Or we can specify the sizes in here. We can choose whether we want true or high color, and we can also export the normal vectors from the system as well. And when we're ready, we click start upload. So we haven't had to save anything locally, we've literally done it directly from the system. So that's how you would work with a clipping box. If I cancel that now, if I go back to here and get rid of that selection. If I zoom into this selection here, then using my explore tab and my polygon selector tool, if I select an area that I want to send up to the cloud, it could be something around this arch here. Once we've selected that data and close to finish, once it's highlighted on the screen, if I right click on it and go to selection, I've now got a send to web share cloud option. If I then get rid of my clipping box, I'm back to looking at the whole project in its entirety. So as you can see, working with focus data, we can export quite quickly, either by sending out the whole project as we'd have done traditionally, taking into account the new overview map feature, or we can send out a cluster, a scan, a clipping box, or a selection. So we can decide we can add those into an existing project. So if you've gone out and you've done a project and you've done it in its entirety as you would traditionally do, then we can now start to add additional scans into that project to save that entire upload again. So here we have a freestyle project. This is one that I've done recently at the Ashmolean Museum and it's been captured with a freestyle objects. And then what I've done is I've used some of the meshing functionality to close some of the surfaces. Traditionally, what we'd have to do to get this into WebShare Cloud is we'd have to create a virtual scan. So what I tended to do is I'd set up a series of viewpoints around the subject, and then at each viewpoint, I would create a virtual scan. Because we've created a virtual scan, then we have the FLS data. And once we have the FLS data, we could upload the project. Now what we can do, if I right click on the scan, do import export, export unordered data because we're working with freestyle data. And then all I need to do is select the CPE format, save it locally, and then we can drag and drop it into the environment. So here you can see we've got exactly the same settings as we had with the focus data, just a slightly different workflow. I'll just cancel that down. Now what we'll do is we'll have a look at the WebShare environment itself. So if I go into WebShare, you can see here I've got a number of public projects, but if I go into my administration view and then log in, now at the moment I've got the projects that are public and non-public. So the first one to look at here is I've already done it, which is the Ashmolean Museum. If I click on the load object there, you can see here the head that I'd uploaded earlier. So all we're going to do is just rotate around and have a look at it. And there we can see the data as we previously created. Now to get that data in from the freestyle, all I've done is I've gone to my administration view and under my administration view, under my project tab, we now have a new option here called create project. If I click create project, I need to enter a name. That name will then build me the URL identifier. I can add a description, a location, and I can set a preview image. Once we've got that set up, then what we can do is actually drag and drop data into that project. So if I cancel that for now, if I go back to a project that I haven't yet finished, so here you can see I've created one called scene seven, and I've got a little men at work symbol. If I click on there and I go to import, then here I can drag and drop the CPE file format that I've previously exported from scene into this project. Once that's been imported, we then need to process that data. So in processing that data, what I need to do is click on the create 3D. So that will turn that CP format into a 3D format that we can then view in WebShare Cloud. You can see here I've done a couple earlier on to have something to show. Now when that's done, if I go back to my projects, you'll see down here that this one still has a yellow and black bar indicating that there's still work to be done. I've created the 3D, I've uploaded the data. But before I do anything, what I need to do is publish that data. So in here, if I select the project, I come down to publish, then tick the box to say publish. This will now add it into the control system. I can then decide who has access to this particular project, or I can add it as a public project on my home page. And as soon as I click OK, that data will be processed. So as we go down, you'll see that the project has been updated. So now I should have the 3D information on the screen for me to view. So here you can see the specific elements that I selected and then published to this particular project. So just to recap there, we've published data directly from scene, directly to WebShare Cloud. 
without having to do any export of focus data. We've then also used the new CP format, published the data locally, dragged and dropped it into a new project that we created within WebShare. So we've got complete flexibility here as to how and when and why we use the system. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been of use and please feel free to watch out for forthcoming tutorials.